All right, Shalom. Shalom. Hey, so uh, first and foremost, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Kadash, the blindness of the apostles and those who are well. Peace and salutations to all the Sensei Akiyam, enduring afflictions, making a call on the election sure. Shalom. Shalom. Shabbat Kabar. This is Brother Yitazaka. And uh, we're back with another one. Lord willing, it's edifying to the elect. Yahweh Bashim Haushai, Bahar Kakadash, Brakadam. To all sincere listeners who may hear this, this one's going to be called Blameless Nor Innocent. It's uh, Job chapter 4 and verse 7. It says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Khan. And we, you know, when there's a question mark there, we know this is a hypothetical question. You know, it says, whoever perish being innocent, it says, and where were the righteous cut off? You know, so by definition, all right, no one's necessarily innocent, man. You know, everyone, all right, uh, is, uh, is guilty, all right? You know, like in a world that you're either innocent or guilty, you know? So no one is necessarily innocent, all right? So... I mean, that's something that we want to keep in mind, man. It's James chapter 2 and verse 13. It says, For he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. Mm -hmm. So it's very important, you know, for us to have, have mercy, man. You know, because if, you, if you're not giving mercy to somebody, then you're going to get that same energy back, man. You know, when it comes to time for you for you to get judged. You know? You got something to add? Kind of. Uh, I was trying to actually see oh. if I find something to back you up, guys. Oh, kind brother. It's love. Yeah, man. So no one, yeah, no one perish. <clears throat> no, no one uh, perish being innocent, man. Just to answer the question that was asked, it says, who ever perish being innocent? Nobody, man. <laughs> Where were the righteous cut off, man? You know? There's no, there's no account. You know what you're gonna get some scriptures on that there's no man in the scriptures or you, you could get and you could say okay he he was innocent you know and you know of course the first person that comes to mind we're gonna lower well we're gonna get that example but uh you got I got a quick one just to pick up what you just said I think it's good Psalms 140 another brother McCarthy you gotta pull this one maybe Psalms 130 oh Psalms 130 yes that was actually the next one that's oh, oh oh wow that's yeah God <laughs> God Yep. Uh, I could read it for you. Come on, brother. Yep. This is in Psalms 130 and 3. It says, If thou, Lord Yahweh, should mark us iniquities, we read it again. It says, If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so if Yahweh Shemel Shah was to mark iniquities, who would stand? You know what I'm saying? Like the brother uh, Kabar was saying, uh, in a technical sense, nobody's really innocent. You know what I'm saying? We know there's going to be the innocent, they're, but they're going to be. Uh, well, I got one more to get uh, Romans. What's that? 8 and 31 or 8 and 33? You could probably start at 31 and read 33. Kind of not. Romans 8 and uh, 31. It says, What shall we say then? Romans 8 and 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Mm -hmm. It says, He that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely give us all things mm -hmm. it says verse 33 who shall lay anything to the charge of yahweh bashim haushah's elect it is the most high that justifies yes yeah, so the, mo the most high you know yahweh bashim haushah he's going to justify uh the elect the elect are going to be deemed innocent in the eyes of yahweh bashim haushah even though they're not per se innocent you know they, they they have iniquities on their track record but Yahweh Shem is going to uh blot all that out you know what I'm saying he's gonna uh, expunge that so to speak you know so there's there's men who uh, are innocent you know because the only only person that it matters to that if you're if you're innocent is Yahweh Shem you know what I'm saying it doesn't matter if someone else deems you as innocent or not because <clears throat> Yahweh Shem is the judge you know mm -hmm. right that word justify from the Greek, Strong's D, 1344, Daka Ayo, but it says, to render righteous or such he ought to be. You know, it says to render, and I got that word render in Google. Render. It goes into cause to be or become, make. 
to the most high he makes someone uh righteous man he he he, he makes us righteous we're not making ourselves righteous man we're not righteous <laughs> we're in Job 4 and 7 where were the righteous cut off nah man but the most high he's gonna justify or render all right particular men righteous man and that's the elect I got uh, one more quick one. Psalms 14 and like 23. Let me pull this other account last week, too. Okay. Psalms 14 and 2. It says, The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek Yahweh Bashim Haushai. Mm -hmm. It says, They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even Yahweh I said, Why callest thou me good? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's only. Got oh, you, know, okay, you got it on here? Okay. Right. You want to grab it now or we're going to mess your sink up? So, like, nah, that's fine. We can get that now. Okay. Or we can just <clears throat> probably get it now and then go back. Worst yeah. Scenario yep. Yep. Mark 10. This is the one that's a little quicker anyway. Okay. Mark 10 and 8. It's like it. Mark 10 and verse 18. Just get to the point. Okay. It says, And Yahusha said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is the most high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he, even Yahusha understood that he wasn't good. You know, he wasn't fully innocent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, uh, Yahusha, you know, because um, it's such thing called reincarnation. You know, reincarnation is scriptural. You know what I'm saying? Yahusha understood according to re reincarnation, he wasn't innocent. You know, he wasn't good. You know, so, um, it, it, how much more us? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If if Yahweh understood this fact, there's no one down here that's literally good. But Yahweh mm -hmm. Shah makes those good whom He wants to be good. You know, wh whom He deems good. You know, they're they're good. You know, right. So that and and that's why we are to completely submit and commit in ourselves to Yahweh Shimon Shah and fear Him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? With with, with fullness because. Ultimately, uh, without him, we can't make it because we're not really innocent. But Yahweh Shem he's the one who's going to make us mm. innocent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I just thought about how uh, how Trump pardoned particular people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's basically what it is. Like, you know, like Trump, he he basically justified them or made them innocent mm. that they didn't have to serve a particular sentence. Yes, you know? Mm -hmm. So just like that, Most High is going to uh, pardon mm. our particular men, no matter what we did. Hypothetically speaking, right. right? Let's just get this in Second Samuel seven, mm -hmm. just to make that point. Because um, we said Yahweh Shai, all right, when he came on the scene, all right, he was he was blameless, you know. You could say he was innocent, mm -hmm. all right. But let's go here, Second Samuel seven. I read it for you. Mm -hmm. Just a point in verse fourteen. It says, "I will be his father, and he shall be my son, if he commit iniquity." I will chasten him with the rod of men mm -hmm. and with the stripes of the children of men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, even Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? He was, uh, he, he, he he ultimately uh, got pardoned, you know what I'm saying? Like the brother was going into because like we were just touching on Yahweh Shai understood he wasn't good because uh, in his past life as King Solomon, he, uh, uh, he committed iniquity, you know what I'm saying? And he got chastised with the rod of men, you know what I'm saying? But ultimately in the grand scheme of things, um, Yahweh Shah was given uh, mercy. You know, he was pardoned. You know, from uh, the things that he did, even though he still was wrong. It don't take away from the wrongness, but uh, Yahweh Shah can pardon you mm. from from things that are mm -hmm. wrong. You know. Yeah, that's that's a that's a heavy thing, cause brothers, um, you know, think about you know, um, have your sin covered? You know, your transgression, that could be true. The Most High could actually forgive you, but that don't mean you don't have to pay for what you did. Mm. You know, like David, you know, he still had to pay. Mm -hmm. he, he lost his son, right? Mm -hmm. yep. You know, God. because of what he did. Yep. So the most I forgave him, but he still had to pay for that. Right. God, yeah, you're not, uh, you were, you were not at all. A quick, uh, name, name on, what's that, name on one and three? This is, uh, Ka. Name on one and three says, The Lord Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power. And will not at all acquit the wicked. Yeah, he will not at all acquit the wicked. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, ultimately, I mean, we all got iniquities on us. So, in a sense, we are wicked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we are not the wicked, but we have done wicked deeds. You know, we have done wicked things. You know what I'm saying? That has defiled us. You know what I'm saying? And made our righteousnesses filthy rags. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But you know, ultimately, Yahweh Shimashah is slow to anger, but in, in great and power. But he's not acquitting the wicked, though. 
You know what I'm saying? So he's not letting uh, no 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 transgression just fly by. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to pay for transgressions. But like I tell you in what uh, what's that Second Corinthians the eleventh chapter? Mm -hmm. We're chastised. We're chastised. Uh, of Yahabashimasha, so we don't be condemned with the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Yahabashimasha has different methods for uh, punishments for transgressions. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We get that word of quit. Yeah. In the Hebrew, Strong J's 53, 52, Naka goes into to be empty, be clear, be pure, be free, mm. be innocent, Woo! be desolate, be cut off. Kaanak, so he was not at all. All right. Uh, Hold you innocent. Hold you innocent, mm -hmm. man. All right. If there was something that that was that was wicked, man, no, that has to get had that has to be <laughs> paid somehow, yeah, man. God. You know, like we're bringing out. There's there's no no one who who's innocent, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Like you know, uh, in literal terms, all right. right. Who's blameless? Literally, we could be made blameless. Right. All right. If Yahweh Hashem Shah would make us blameless. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But otherwise, yeah, we can't uh, we can't make ourselves blameless. You know what I'm saying? It's only through the spirit and pride of Yahweh Shah that we can uh, be blame free. You yep. made me think of another one too. I, mm -hmm. uh, Sirach, what's it? Sirach 16 and 17, or it might be up like 15 or 14. I know it's in the area. Okay, let's see. Um, let me see. Uh, what's 16? 17. Uh, go up in the middle. Fourteen, thirteen. Let me see what they say. Okay, yeah, eleven, eleven. Yeah, that's what they say. Yep, con. Yep, con. This is Sirach sixteen eleven. It says, and if there be one stiff necked among the people, it is a marvel if he escape unpunished. Yeah, it said if it be one stiff neck <laughs> among the people, it says marvel if they escape unpunished. Why? Because yeah, but see my side, he's not letting no skinners es es escape out here. He's not letting no one that's guilty get away. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Right. Mm-hmm. Free and clear. <laughs> God, nah. Yep. Right. Just got away with murder. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you're going to have to pay for that. It's some kind of form of fashion. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm it, it could be the ultimate form of fashion. It could be uh, the lake of fire or the four kinds that he has appointed mm -hmm. over the wick or the spirits created for vengeance. Or it could be, uh, you know, through the spirits of demon Satan, you know, and uh, through his minions, you know. It, mm -hmm. it, could, it could be uh, through chastisement, through plagues, you know, which ultimately goes back to uh, those 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 angels carrying out His will, you know, for vengeance, you know, mm -hmm. those spirits, you know. Mm-hmm. Kind of. The, yep. the ministers, you know. Right. Yep. Righteous you, judgment. You read the last little part too for me. Up. It so. says, "For mercy and wrath are with Him; He is mighty to forgive." And to pour out displeasure. Yeah, so for mercy and wrath is with him. You know what I'm saying? He's not only wrathful, but he has mercy too. You know what I'm saying? So he can either judge you in wrath or he mm. can judge you with mercy. You know mm. what I'm saying? He's mighty to forgive, but he's also mighty to pour out displeasure. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you gotta either hope to be get that, that mighty forgiveness rather than that mighty uh punishment of displeasure, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Come on, bro. You got some? Yeah, I got one more. So look, um, Isaiah 55 and 7. Because you're speaking about the pardon. Uh, this is the book of the prophet Isaiah 55 and verse 7. It says, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, mm -hmm. and to our power, for he will abundantly Pardon. So you have a is showing you how to uh, how, how to how to be deemed innocent, how to be how to be part. Can we get it? You got the word part. Yeah. <laughs> the Hebrew is a uh, strong J fifty five forty five. Salak. Salak. Mm. To forgive. Mm. Pardon. To be forgiven. Spare. You got spare in there. God Ooh. damn. Nah, not Salak. You know, it's heavy, and you know, cause brothers pull out that scripture when they be like, oh, spare not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Shah, he even spares though. You know what I'm saying? So mm. you, do, you do have to spare. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Sparing has to be in your arsenal. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Right. False balance is abomination. Mm. God, you read yep. one more time for me out? Come on, brother. It says, Let the wicked forsake his way, 
and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him into our power for he will abundantly pardon yeah so yeah but she must have, oh, it's it abundantly too and abundantly mm -hmm. uh, is like another word for abundant is like excessive you know what I'm saying or like in excess you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying great or many you know what I'm saying multiply increase you know, greatly you mm -hmm. know become much so not only will because we need we need a, a abundant pardon not only do you need a pardon but you need <laughs> an abundant pardon yeah. to be able to escape iniquity because iniquity is sin on top of sin so like that's like you got a whole bunch of charges like if you got one charge you're just gonna be charged you're just gonna receive a punishment for that one charge but if you got multiple charges you got to get punished for each charge you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying so you need to be abundantly pardoned to escape iniquity you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and it's telling you how to do it is by forsaking your weight you know what i'm saying forsaking your thoughts you know what i'm saying and returning unto your how about out shot mm -hmm. you know and that's how you get pardoned that's how you are deemed innocent you know yeah the only way gone yep gone that's uh mm -hmm. that's all i got right now gone huh um, because we jumped to Psalms 32. Psalms 32, I bet you. It's, uh, Psalms chapter 32. Start from the top. Mm -hmm. It's Psalms chapter 32, verse 1. It says, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Right. Blessed is the man whose transgression is forgiven, you know, because the transgression is already there. We already brought it out. There's no man who hasn't transgressed, you know, like, you know, and, um, what was it in Romans 3 23 we don't got to get it you know but it says all have sinned you know but it says here blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven you know whose sin is covered yeah. you got it God, and I looked the word up concealed um, I mean uh, covered so like, yeah. uh -huh. and it goes into the word uh, H3680 which is a uh, Kasa and uh, it goes into cover conceal hide mm. um, to cover clothed um, so that you be not found naked. Mm. What's that scripture? Can, can we pull that one real quick? Found naked. Is it? Uh, is it Revelation 16? I'm at the tree. God knows. So uh, Second Corinthians five and three. Oh, that's that's a good one too, though. Oh, okay, kind of. I don't know that. that's necessarily <laughs> one, but that, that's a good one though. Kind of. You got it. You can read. It. All right, I'll just start I'll start with so like, yeah. I can start at uh. Yeah, might as well start the top. It says, okay. 2 Corinthians 5 and 1, it says, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of the Most High, and house not made with hands mm. eternal in the heavens. Mm. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. Mm. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. Mm. And that's that pardon. That's that mercy. You know what I'm saying? That's how you're you're found naked when uh your, your your transgression and your iniquity is not blotted you know what i'm saying so we earnestly groan for what what are we earnestly groaning for for mercy for uh for, for grace you know what i'm saying to be abundantly pardoned so we don't have to be punished for our iniquities you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. that's it okay yeah uh-huh yeah it was revelation 16 15 that's the one i wanted God. This is in uh, Revelation 16 and verse 15. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked mm -hmm. and they see his shame. Uh -huh, yeah, blessed is he who, uh, who, who, who watcheth and keepeth his garments. You know what I'm saying? How do you watch and keep your garments? Well, that's by continually forsaking, uh, uh, forsaking uh, the uh, your thoughts in, 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 in uh, your unrighteous ways you know what I'm saying that's how you keep that garment that's how you keep um, that's how you keep watch you know what I'm saying that's how you are not found naked you know what I'm saying which is uh, ultimately how you have your sins covered you know what I'm saying that's how you're mm -hmm. deemed innocent you know mm -hmm. yep uh -huh. Psalm 32 mm -hmm. it's back in Psalms 32 uh, read it one again. It says, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. It says, Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Mm -hmm. Right. So we already established that there's 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 iniquity. You know, no, no one can say, I haven't committed any iniquity, man. No one is innocent. No one is blameless. You know? 
but it says blessed is a man unto the Lord imputeth not iniquity man get that word imputeth in the Hebrew Strong's age 2803 uh, Kashab goes into um, let me see this is to think plan esteem calculate invent make a judgment you know so you know if, if we're not deemed all right as someone who has transgressed that's literally a blessing man you know and that's anonymous you know scriptures talk about happy is he that's the same thing man that's a that's a beautiful thing man it says to be considered you know so to be considered all right innocent that's a blessing all right because we're not innocent <laughs> but if the most High considers us innocent you know that's only going to be imparted upon you know particular men it says in whose spirit there's no guile mm. Uh, Revelation 14 5 but you know if you guys you want, you want to grab that first it's a lot I got you okay. it's uh Revelation chapter 14 and verse 5 it says just five you uh you can start four if you want okay. uh, yeah, it's, it's Revelation chapter 14 verse 4 it says these are they which are not defiled with women for they are virgins these are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth these were redeemed from among men being the first fruits unto Yahweh into the Lamb. Mm -hmm. So this is talking about the elect. You know, you go up, this is talking about the 144,000. You know, so you, you want to be one of those men. All right, that's going to be redeemed. You know, you got. It. And in their mouth was found no gal, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. So to be without fault, you know, before the throne of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, we just read in Psalms 32, you know. It says in no spirit there's no guile you know so that's what it's talking about here you know that's what it's talking about here man you know it says they are without fault and that's a beautiful thing man because we are with fault you know mm -hmm. but to be counted all right deemed all right to be uh really you know uh yeah, redeemed you know to be chosen man to be you know the elect that's really what it is Kinda. you know brothers go into the elect like there's there, there's in the, in the physical form there's, there's, there's no difference, man. But in the spirit, you know, we're just chosen, man. You know, there's no, there's no way to, to tell, man. God, bro, it's like just to add a quick point, too. Because, you know, Jake, in the world, you be doing uh, wickedness, and then you get away with the wickedness that you did, yeah. and you be feeling happy on the inside. Like, I skated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, it make yeah. you feel like you, you know, it make you feel emboldened in what you're doing. Like, oh, obviously, I'm supposed to be doing this if I'm getting away with it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's... Uh, you know that's how the lick are gonna uh, ultimately have their tears wiped away. You know what I'm saying? That's how they're gonna feel good because they're gonna be like, oh, okay, Yahabashima Shah is is is, is he, he part of me? Like I was meant I, I I was meant to be innocent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it, it just to feel like that. That's that's a hell of a feeling. Just to have that confidence and that feeling like, oh, I, I'm supposed to be here. I'm meant to be here. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. that, that's that's a lot. You know, it's, it's more than what you can really explain when you know you're wrong, but you still making it as not if if as if you were wrong that's a that's a feeling that you can't really uh describe you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's right brother you know we hope to be part of that number man we, we, we don't know but it's like you know we can only imagine man just a feeling that you know most high is is, is, is truly dealing with you man yeah, and he's wild. he's gonna like he he got you like yeah. you know what i'm saying like uh, big bro got me uh, you know what i'm saying our father abinawa he uh, has us man uh, bro. that's only only the elect all right will have that uh luxury man mm -hmm. yeah uh, and that's a that's a luxury that you want to have you know what i'm saying <laughs> yep um i looked at salakia well, i had looked that word fault up in uh, in, uh verse mm -hmm. five and it says uh it's g29 i'm at g2 um 299 and it says i'm a i'm a most and uh it goes into without blemish as a sacrifice without spot or blemish without blemish faultless unblameable mm. morally mm. you know what i'm saying so morally unblameable you know what i'm saying is uh being found without without fault you know mm. that's heavy man kind of <laughs> they link up so no so we i mean scriptures don't contradict like you know i like to say you know we brought out even yahweh shy all right and, and uh, when he was Solomon, you know, he he, uh, he wasn't innocent. He committed iniquity, mm -hmm. you know. But this right here, we see how this thing comes together. In the spirit, there's no guile. So particular men, all right, they're going to be without fault, you know. 
they're not going to be uh, literally without fault. Just like in verse four, where it talks about their virgins. They're not going to be literal virgins. All right. Yeah. All right. Some of them, you know, could be, <laughs> you know, but that's not what it's talking about. It's something that in the spirit, you're not mm -hmm. defiled. All right. With women and these uh, philosophies of this world, mm -hmm. we're going to follow. All right. Lord willing, we're those men. All right. We're going to follow the lamb, you know, with us over he go with, mm -hmm. you know, truly keep. All right. His commands and, you know, and really f follow him, man. As Yahusha said, follow me. Mm -hmm. Uh, you got it. Got it, brother. I got uh, one quick one in uh, Sirach 11 and 10. Yeah, God. This is in uh, Sirach 11 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. It says, My son, meddle not with many matters. Mm -hmm. For if thou meddle much, thou shalt not be innocent. Mm -hmm. And if thou follow after, thou shalt not obtain, neither thou shalt escape by fleeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you uh, continue on in iniquity, when you continue on in transgression you cannot be innocent you know what i'm saying the, the only thing that the only way you can be caught without a uh, fault is when if you give up the things that make you have fault you know what i'm saying the only way to be unblemished is to uh morally put away those things that made you blemished you know what i'm saying if you continue in those things then you're not going to be able to uh be deemed innocent you're not going to there's no way to escape that you know what i'm saying like yahweh yeah, said in uh um St. John the 15th chapter, if I had not come spoken unto them, they had not sinned, but now that I come and spoken to them, they have no cloak for their sin, which means, you know, cloak goes into something that covers you, a covering, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So you don't, you don't have no covering for you, you know, and that covering is what is, is your innocence, you know, but when you continue in things that has uh, 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 that makes you guilty, you don't have that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you have mm -hmm. to, you have to stop meddling with things that, 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 uh, that, that brings blemishes unto you, you know, mm. To, mm. To, to be deemed innocent, you know. Mm. No man can serve two masters. Woo! <laughs> you know? God. Offend less. You know what I'm saying? Yep, just like that, man. Yep. Oh, that's God. it. God, brother. I can read this one for you in uh, Romans 8. God. This is in Romans 8 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. It says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiachi Hawashai, mm. who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. That's the spirit, because that's the one I really wanted to grab earlier. Wow, see. <laughs> yeah, kind of, but um, that, that 30, 31 through 33 is pretty much echoing okay. this, you know what I'm saying? But um, you read it one more time, so like, yeah. Yep, this is Romans 8 and 1. It says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Hamashiachi Hawashai, who walk not after the flesh, mm -hmm. but after the spirit. Yeah, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. When you're walking in the spirit, you're morally uh, blameless. You know what I'm saying? With being being in the spirit is having virtue. You know what I'm saying? Which virtue represents uh, innocence. You know what I'm saying? Which represents uh, purity. Which uh, mm -hmm. uh, represents blame blamelessness. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you're walking within the spirit, you are blameless. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say. Um, uh, yay there under the spirit uh if you're in the spirit you're not under the law you know what i'm saying so if you're not under the law that means you're not uh subject to the penalties of the law you know what i'm saying that's why you have to walk in the spirit so that you can have that innocent the, the, the spirit of yahweh shot is what makes you innocent it's what makes you blameless it's what makes you that uh that that, that pure sacrifice you know mm -hmm. yep i don't know and then Salaki, I had looked up uh, innocent on Google, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the definitions say not guilty of a crime or offense. One of them say without or lacking, and uh, you know Revelation twenty second chapter say uh, for for without or dogs, mm -hmm. you know what I'm yeah. saying sorcerers and murderers, you know what I'm saying those are those who are not covered. In uh, verse two it says free from moral wrong, not corrupted, you know what I'm saying, and uh, simple and naive. <laughs> Innocent, uh, not intended to cause harm or offense, harmless. Not intending, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. Yahweh is all about your intention, so you're not intending to cause mm -hmm. harm or wrong. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Th those are the ones who are blameless. Those who was doing, uh, those who caught blame in ignorance. You know, those mm -hmm. who caught blame because of uh, pressure situations. You know what I'm saying? Not those who just, just did it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, a pure, guiltless, or naive person. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I could go into some def definitions, but you get the point. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some of the synonyms. 
but you get the point. You know what I'm saying? One of them say virtuous and pure. You know what I'm saying? Like mm, I was going into right. being virtuous. virtuous. You know yep. what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. virtue, you got to have that virtue to uh, be deemed innocent by Yahweh Shemashah. You know. Mm-hmm. Just bringing it up. Come. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. This is what this is what we want, man. You know. This is what we want, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's all about. As the scripture is saying, after the spirit, in Psalms 32, mm-hmm. you know, and there's spirit, there's no God, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, because we already lost in the flesh, right. you know, but that's the constant battle, you know, mm-hmm. the spirit lusted against the flesh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Warned mm-hmm. against your members. Yep. You guys know? Uh, nah. Can we get it for you? Uh, that's what was it? Isaiah 44 and, uh, mm-hmm. 21. 21. It's Isaiah chapter 44, verse 21. It says, Remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee. Thou art my servant, O Israel. Thou shalt not be forgotten of me. Mm-hmm. Right. So this is talking about, all right, uh, the northern southern kingdom, you know, or you just, you know, liken this to just the Israelites as a whole. Mm-hmm. You know, this is really uh, something that we, this is a message, man, really, you know, from the prophet Isaiah. Um, I can finish the point uh, get 22 mm-hmm. it says I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions and as a cloud thy sins return unto me for I have redeemed thee mm-hmm mm. God so that's a beautiful thing man mm-hmm. you know it says I've blotted out you know mm. let me see what that says in the Hebrew Strong forty two twenty nine. 42 29 Makah goes into to wipe out mm. To blot out, obliterate, mm. exterminate. Come on, not. <laughs> That's fire. So they, they exterminate, man. Mm. You know? What, what is it being exterminated? It says, thy transgressions. Mm. You know what I'm saying? As a cloud, thy sins. You know? So this is something, you know, this is, uh, you know, what we would deem, you know, as, as the gospel, man. You know? What Yahusha, all right, said, you know, to preach, man. You know, repentance. Because he says here, return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Mm. You know? So this is something that's been preached, you know, not only um, in the New Testament, but this is something that's been preached, you know, from days of old, man, even since the days of Moses, you know, like in uh, Deuteronomy 30 goes into that, man. Mm. You know, it, so it's like, you know, just it's like, not to cut you off, I, but this, this shows you that this should be a big incentive for you to, uh, to uh, this should be a, a big incentive for you, you know what I'm saying, to be able to have your sins blotted out. You know what I'm saying? This this shows you how because it says return unto me. How about you, my son? He didn't say, "Oh, I got this promise for you. I got this and that. I'm the power in this." He's like, "Look, I'm wiping out your iniquities and your transgressions. This is something that's heavy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? This is what should make you want to return unto me. You know what I'm saying? The opportunity that you have, uh, the uh, uh, opportunity to have your sins and your transgressions blotted out is 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 serious, man. You know what I'm saying? God, no. I, don't, I don't need to give you no other gift wrap package with it you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like this this alone should make you want to return and uh service me and you know uh and, and give you uh incentive to be happy because blessed is the man right happy is the man right who, who was not imputed iniquity you know so this should make you happy you know mm-hmm. that's it kind of not because uh so like even in verse 23 um it says sing Sing, O ye heavens, for the Lord Yahweh shall have done it. Shout, ye lower parts of the earth. Bring forth into singing, ye mountains, O forest, and every tree therein, for the Lord Yahweh shall have redeemed Jacob and glorified him, glorified himself in Israel. You know what I'm saying? So this let you know, like, oh, this is like, this is something to be singing, rejoicing, and happy about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The, the, the fact that Yahweh shall it's giving us an opportunity to have our sins and our transgressions blotted out you know what i'm saying and, and through that he's gonna uh make us a special people unto himself again you know we're gonna be brought back unto him we're gonna be those gods you know this it speaks about in what psalms 82 you know right yeah man yep for the lord hath redeemed jacob and glorified himself in israel mm. so that's what makes the elect so special lord won't we those men I re- Lord willing, we those men got to keep emphasis yeah, on that. Definitely you, know? Yep. you know, no, but as a whole, Israel, you know, is the elect. Right. You know, Israel is how how the Most High is, is glorified. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying it says and glorified Himself in Israel. You know, so He's showing, all right, He's showing His glory within the Israelites, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. Jesus, man, 
that, that, that chapter kind of banging up. <laughs> Can you read just 24, 25? I'm not. Yep. Verse 24 it says, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, mm. that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. So Yahweh Shimashai basically like, Look, I'm glorifying myself in you. I'm the God who stretched forth the heavens. You know what I'm saying? I'm the God who formed thee in the womb. I'm I'm the I'm I'm the all powerful. I'm the almighty. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna glorify myself within you. You know what I'm saying? This is like, bro, I'm I'm it. I'm everything that you can hope for. And mm. I'm finna suck with you. You mm. know what I'm saying? Right. Right. That is alone. That right there is the only way you could you could be blameless or innocent, God, man. God. You know, because the most high, he's he's not uh mm. <laughs> guilty of anything. Right, man. right. This so <laughs> he has to dwell with you. Exactly. Yeah, God, that's, that's the only the way. Point. God, nah. yep. God. It says verse twenty five, that frustrateth the tokens of the liars and maketh uh, diviners mad mm -hmm. that turneth wise men backward Ooh. and maketh their knowledge foolish. Mm, yeah, so y'all about to see like, look, I'm that guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm that power. Can't no, can't, what, what else are you going to turn to that's going to, that, 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 that can come against me? If I'm, that's why we read earlier, if y'all about to see be with you, who could be mm -hmm. against you? Yep. You know what I'm saying? Ah. So this is supposed to be like, oh, okay, I can, I can never be charged as the guilty one. I can never no one can ever perish my purity because I had Yahweh Shemasha sucking with me. And it's supposed to be something that's supposed to make you rejoicing happy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because you're pretty much uh, invincible. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, 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 do, do, do this. Oh, you're, you're pretty much in a sense invincible if Yahweh Shemasha uh, blocks out your transgressions and your uh, iniquity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're invincible. You can't be penetrated. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Even, even transgression and death can't bring you down. You know, right, right, like um, what they what they what's the term a uh, diplomatic immunity or something mm, like that? Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Where it's like you you untouchable, like you're saying. God, you know bro. what I'm saying? God. Like I, I'm good. Like what you talking about? God. <laughs> Made man. Made man. <laughs> <laughs> good, man. Yep. God, brother. What you got? Uh, let me get that in numbers twenty one. Uh, it's uh numbers chapter twenty one, twenty three seven. Uh, Numbers chapter 21 verse 7 It says therefore the people came to Moses And said we have sinned For we have spoken against the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai And against thee Pray unto the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai That he take away the serpents from us And Moses prayed for the people Mm-hmm. Kind of, you know So that's the point you know the people Alright which we know as the Israelites came to Moses And said we have sinned mm. All right, so we see that sin was, was taking place from the people. You know what I'm saying? You know, and there was prayer. You know, Moses, we know, who was a Levite, you know, he was the one that was kind of the intercessor. You mm -hmm. know what I'm yeah, saying? Kind of. They started peacemakers. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just to make the point, we could jump to chapter 23. Mm -hmm. This, uh, what am I going to start with? 21. Kind of. This, uh, Numbers 23 and 21. Mm. He have not beheld iniquity in Jacob. Neither have he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord Yahweh Shemashi, His power is with them, and the shout of a king is among them. Mm -hmm. Hold up, because we just read two chapters before, all right? That it says we had sinned, mm -hmm. all right? But right here, he says he has he hasn't seen perverseness in Israel, man. Mm. Right? You know, so that's 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 how you that's the only way you could be made innocent, like we bring it out, man. It's only if the Most High, all right, just makes you all right innocent, man. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you're not innocent, most high says you're innocent, then we, 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 what's anyone else is going to say? Mm -hmm. Well, he's, he's not innocent. <laughs> Look, he did that. Good, most high, he ain't see it. God, That's exactly. like Debo. God, God, uh, what chain? God, yeah, God, God, <laughs> yep. God, uh, because um, in this chapter, I believe, I believe it was Balak, he was trying to put a curse on Israel, if I'm not mistaken. You can try to read up a book and see what it is. Balak. Yep, Balak, yep. Balak was trying to put a curse on Israel. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on, so like, was or was it Balaam? Balak say I know it's Balak or Balaam. I think it's it might be Balaam. Mhm. Mm if us can read this, kind not yeah. <laughs> you know, Moab, they're they're losers. You know what I'm saying? But I believe it's it, it might it, it might be Balaam, so like you. You okay. know what I'm saying? But um, either one, Balak or Balaam. One of them is the God, and one of them was the prophet. You know what I'm saying? Or Moab. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
they pretty much tried to put a curse on Israel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see my was like, like you said, what curse? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they're, oh, they're, they're evil, yeah, but she must what evil? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hear yeah. no evil, see no evil. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, like you said, yeah, but she must like, at the end of the day, if you have a she says you're innocent, you're innocent. Even if you're not innocent, technically. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a something that you should be very grateful in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Very grateful in. You know what I'm saying? Speaking to us, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? We, we should be definitely heavily grateful in the fact that Yahweh Shema is offering us a uh, covering, you know what I'm saying, from our shame, you know. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. i get this one for you. What no, you ask, um, oh, no, I ain't got no This is in Ephesians 1, verse 4. It says, According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame mm-hmm. before him in love. And that's heavy too, man. That's like, uh, man, you know what I'm saying? It's, you can't even really put no words to that. Like, you know what I'm saying? If we be those men, we have been chosen before the foundation of the world that we should be holding without blame for him in love. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, what more do you really need to serve Shah by Shemel Shah, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, for the chance to, to be chosen, to be deemed as one of those holy and blameless men, one of those innocent men. You know what I'm saying? That's. And that's good. You just like, ah ha. You know, it's like a kid, nine and a boo. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't get me. You know what I'm saying? Like, can't nobody get us. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, we be those men. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That's right. You get the you get the boast. You know what I'm saying? That this this where that boasting come. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But we're gonna boast in Yahweh Shem Al of course. You know what that's I'm right. saying? Cause he cause he gave us the ability to uh receive the that, that glory and that, and that mercy, you know. Con, con. Ah, it's a lucky, brothers. You just want to read this one more time, brother? Um, yeah, we, we get it again. Much covered it, brother. Yeah, we, yeah, because we, yeah, we, we got the next one, the next few, Lil well and is kind of going to hit the point. Okay, con. Get that in Galatians 3. You can get it for you. I got you. Galatians 3 and uh, 11. Yeah. It's Galatians chapter 3 and verse 11. It says, But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of Yahweh by Shem It is evident, for the just shall live by faith. Mm-hmm. Right. So it says, No man, all right, is justified. But well, we got that word, it's the same one. I think so. Mm. Justified. So render. render righteous. Just, yep. You know what I'm saying? So no man is, is rendered, you know, righteous, all right, by the law. All right, in the sight of the most high says mm. is evident the just shall live by faith mm. you know which you know Galatians 3 that's a whole a breakdown you know a lot of Christians love love these scriptures here but Paul isn't saying to do away with the law right. just put that out there mm-hmm. but the point you know we already read in uh well I don't know if we got that part but in Romans 8 you know it tells you you know for him who he justified or them he glorified mm-hmm. you know roughly yep. you know paraphrasing so, also he so it goes it goes into predestination that's all it's talking about mm-hmm. We could jump down to 16. Mm-hmm. It says, it says, uh, verse 16. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not unto seeds as of many, but as of one. And to thy seed, which is the anointed Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, really, uh, like we brought out in Revelation 14, all right, the redeemed are going to be following, all right, the land with us over the goeth. All right, so within that, we know that body of Mashiach, you know, this right here, we can use this as a, you know, a precept known that, you know, through reincarnation, you know, Isaac, all right, that's the seed of uh, Abraham, but here it says to thy seed, which is a Mashiach, you know, but the point, it says to Abraham, his seed were the promises made, all right, and that's what it really just boils down to, man, a promise was made, all right, and that's the only way redeemed as being blameless or innocent, all right, because you the most high he made a promise all right and that's really that's what it is man you know we just happen to be part of that that seed line you know that that could be all right equipped you know to be redeemed from this place man mm-hmm. you know one way or another israelites all right are going to be uh delivered man israelites are going to be saved israelites are going to be all right uh set apart from these other nations man we're going to be without blame and this is why Yahweh Shemashah is worth so much praise. 
You know what I'm saying? Cause like, like what, what, uh, what filtered this? Like what made this to be like it is? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You can't even put your finger on it. The only thing you can do is just bow down and praise Yah by Shema Shah for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This, this is why you should serve Yah by Shema Shah right now because, like, you, you can't explain, you can't put an explanation on this why, why it's like this. So, just serve him. You know what I'm saying? And fear him and, and, and thank him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's it. Um, you got a cool one. Um, this is Rock 18 and 22. Nah, nah. This is in the book of Sirach, chapter 18, verse 22. Mm-hmm. It says, Let nothing hinder thee to pay thy vow in due time, mm-hmm. and defer not until death to be justified. Uh-huh, yeah, we, we made a vow to Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? That we were going to follow his covenant. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a covenant could be uh, pretty much synonymous with the word vow. You know what I'm saying? So we made a covenant with Yahweh Shah that we was going to. Uh, adhere unto his laws, that's just commandments, you know what I'm saying, if not, we should die, you know, we obviously, as a nation, have not been adhering unto the laws, that's just commandments of Yahweh so it's time for us to pay up now, you know what I'm saying, we're in the last age, but it says, defer not unto death to be justified, you know what I'm saying, so don't defer unto death to where Yahweh Shah got to do away with the whole covenant and make a new covenant for you to be justified through that new covenant, but do it now. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the opportunity to be able to uh, still be able to pay uh, that vow. You know what I'm saying? It's just like uh, like you get a sum on your credit to where, you know what I'm saying, uh, even though it was low, but they like wipe it clean and then now you could uh, be able mm-hmm. to pay for certain stuff and do certain things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like do it now rather than trying to go bankrupt. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like don't go bankrupt with Yahweh Bashi Mashah. Like wipe your credit off and, and start fresh. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Rather than just be like, oh, I'm gonna just let everything mess up and go bankrupt and, and start and, and, and just do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you show some effort. You know, show some diligence. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. Ah, like like bringing out that example. Like if uh, you know, if he was uh, I think that can be brought out. Like you know, if you got if you got booked for some charges or whatever. You know, someone you know took took the charge for you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. It's like you're not gonna go out and just be reckless at that point. Nah, you wanna try to you know what I'm saying? Make make something out of it, man. Right. You know? Cause at that point, the same person he's he's locked up. He ain't he ain't gonna <laughs> retake the L for you, man. Right. You know? So just like you know, Yahweh shot, man. He 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 died for us, man. You know? So we we wanna uh. Make make sure like we you know what I'm saying if we gotta go to uh, probation or do particular community service just sh- do something you know what I'm saying just to show like you know I'm trying to be an outstanding citizen you right. know so that way you know the judge could look like all right yeah he's good he's innocent right right kind of yeah at least try to prove yourself even though you can't but at least try you know what I'm saying to show like some kind like I am a good representative you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. like look how I'm upholding myself you know what I'm saying. Yep. Fine, brother. That was it. Yeah, that was it on that. Fine. Yeah, I actually had that in Romans 8. Oh, wow. In uh, 30. The one, the one we did earlier, that's the Spirit. Yeah, I think we started at 31. Yeah, we right? started at 30. That's the Spirit. Okay, <laughs> not. This uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 30. It says, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified and whom he justified them he also glorified right you know so this is you know some you know christians they 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 know about it but they can't really uh you know break it down yeah you know, only the israelites we we know what this is <laughs> truly entails cause, right you know how you justify all right a whole uh religion you know what i'm saying right, right. this is talking about the people man mm-hmm. you know talking about the israelites man ultimately all right the elect you know, it says, whom he did predestinate, them he called, mm-hmm. and then whom he called, them he justified. Mm-hmm. And we went to that word, you know what I'm saying? Again, you know, to be, to render righteous, mm-hmm. you know? But it's only for particular people who were chosen from the foundation, like mm-hmm. we brought in Ephesians, the first chapter. Mm-hmm. You know? So that's that's the only way, <laughs> all right, we could be deemed, all right, innocent or guilty, mm-hmm. you know? And that's why, you know, Paul said a lot of 
the things, you know, not not of works. You mm, know what I'm saying? Any man should boast. You ain't justified by works. Well, that's basically what it's talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. this, you, you got to be chosen. You know, uh-huh. and within that, you're going to be doing particular things because you were chosen to do them. Uh huh. And you going and you're going to appreciate it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to yeah. be appreciated. You, you're going to be appreciative as hell. Like, oh, I got the opportunity to be chosen. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to yeah. make you chosen. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? You're going to figure your mouth shut. Uh-huh. So like right. There's no one who, who who's chosen. I mean, according to the scriptures, no one's gonna be chosen who's who's like you know what I'm saying, taking it for granted. Right, right, yeah, kind, of, kind <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, come on. Kind of, bro. Um, I looked that word predetermined. Uh, I mean, predestinate. You know, it's G4309. Pro Pro Orazo, I believe. It says to predetermine, decide beforehand. Mm-hmm. Um. In the New Testament of Yahweh Shemashah the cream from eternity mm. to foreordain a point beforehand. Mm. So to 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 uh to uh beforehand appoint something or or ordain something beforehand. You know what I'm saying? So that's really why man Yahweh Shemashah he, he deserved all praises once again. <laughs> all praises to the most high, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And his only begotten son, you know, uh-huh. for 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 Lord willing, if we be those men having the chance to be predestinated, you know. Call out Yahweh Shemashah. Call out Yahweh Shemashah. God said, uh, okay, this is a code. Khan, Khan, call out Yahweh Shemashah. Call out Yahweh Shemashah. Yeah, that was really it on that. God. We already kind of hit that point a little while. God. Got 2 Peter 3. God. I can get it for you. God. Points in 14, but if you want, I can start it higher. Nah, you got whatever wherever you want to go. This is a uh, Second Peter, three and verse fourteen. It says, "Wherefore, beloved, seeing that they look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless." Mm, and it go back to what I was just touching on uh, a second ago about being diligent. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Trying, yeah, trying to make yourself innocent. You know what I'm saying? Like even though it's it's, it's about those who are preordained before beforehand to be deemed innocent, still fight to be deemed innocent mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. those that were chosen are going to be doing that yeah god <laughs> god nah, they're going yeah. to be doing that yeah bro yo i'm not going to use it as a cloak of maliciousness mm-hmm. kind brother yo yeah and that's and that's why you're going to be innocent you know what i'm saying because you didn't take for granted you know the opportunity mm. that you had you appreciated it you know what mm. i'm saying that's what that's what makes you pure that's what makes you I'm more, just yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how the, yeah. your spirit is has no guile in it. yeah kind yo <laughs> kind not yo mm. yo Lord willing, those men. Lord willing, not Lord willing. Lord willing. You know, but only, it's good doing this lesson because it make you feel good. Like, oh, as long as I got fair intentions, I, I'm, I'm looking good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God. Yep. Yes, on. Oh no, I ain't got enough. God. That's the last one. God. Second Peter two fifteen. Let me get it for you. God, you got it. The second. It's like in Philippians two and fifteen. Mm. It says. Oh, can we start up a little bit? <laughs> Because uh, when we start out, is it like twelve or thirteen? Yeah, thirteen. Yep. It says uh, Philippians two and thirteen. Mm-hmm. It says, "For it is Yahweh Bashim Hashai, which worketh in you mm. both to will and to do His good pleasure." Mm. So if you have, that's why scripture says, "Examine thyself with thy being the faith." You know, what I'm saying, try the spirit of, uh, try the spirit by the see, spirit to see, or, or if they are of Yahweh Bashim Hashai. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand what spirit is operating within you. You know what I'm saying? What spirit are you operating within? You know what I'm saying? Are you just moving in the spirit and then saying this Yahweh You know what I'm saying? Yahweh <laughs> He's working in you to do His will and His in His good pleasures. You know what I'm saying? Which His good pleasures and His will is for us to uh, turn away from uh, uh, from wickedness. You know what I'm saying? For us to uh, forsake our thoughts. For us to uh, walk in his way to the best of our abilities to combat the flesh and walk in the spirit you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so are we doing that you know what i'm saying if we're not doing those things then obviously it's another spirit that's working within us you know what i'm saying spirits demon satan working within us you know what i'm saying <laughs> god not yep it's another spirit god it says verse 14 do all things without murmurings and disputing why because you're not gonna be uh blameless you're not gonna be innocent if you're if you're doing things with murmurings and disputings. You know what I'm saying? Like you uh, uh meddle not with many matters. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because you you should not be uh innocent. You know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. like uh, 
our people in the time of the wilderness they was murmuring and bringing mm-hmm. up disputes you know what i'm saying that that pretty much tarnished their innocence you know what I'm saying? even though they wasn't innocent when they got redeemed out of egypt you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but they, they was deemed innocent but you have a shot but they brought for a blemish on their innocence from you have a when they started doing that murmuring and disputing mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying when you're not being appreciative of the grace that's been given to you by you have a him him deeming you get guiltless you're not appreciating it and you disputing and murmuring against it now now you got a blemish that can't be wiped off you know what i'm saying because mm-hmm. you a special type of scumbag then mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying <laughs> kind of not and i was just thinking that's what these christians they like they they like to harp on like yeah you know israelites messed up so now you know what i'm saying it's for, for the gentiles right nah man you know what i'm saying because it, it just seems so crazy that the most high could after everything could still be dealing with the israelites mm. you know what i'm saying yes. that's how much <laughs> yeah. mercy the most high yeah, has that's, that's, that's a, but yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, that's, heavy that's how long, much long suffering he has that yeah. it just it just seems unbelievable that <laughs> like most high could still be dealing yeah, right. with the israelites man that's heavy. but that but that that's the truth man mm. you know mm. You know, we believe that by faith, man. Mm-hmm. And then the scriptures back it up, man. Yeah, kind of, yeah. The scriptures we've been ringing up today. <laughs> yeah. Like it proves That's it. right. Yeah. That's right. It says, Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, mm. the sons of Yahweh Bashim Shai, mm. without rebuke, mm. in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, Ooh. among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Holiness. You know what I'm saying? And that, that, that's what separates you from the crooked and the perverse uh a, a crooked and the perverse nature is your is your uh is your innocence you know what i'm saying your purity your virtue you know what i'm saying this is what separates you from them you know what i'm saying and ultimately that's having a uh, pure intentions not having no god you know what i'm saying uh sincerely walking in the spirit sincerely giving all you got to turn away from the things that brought blemishes on you you know what i'm saying uh hating abomination vehemently you know what i'm saying just right. prepared, you know vehemently you know what i'm saying that's that's what makes you uh harmless and blameless you know what i'm saying and that's what makes you separate and holy from uh those who are going to get uh that ultimate judgment brought upon them lord whether we not those men you mm-hmm. know god yeah yeah man that was it kind of kind yeah you killed it up <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah kind of hey so with that we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Kadash, the blind of the apostles and those who were well. Peace and salutations to all the Sinsayakim, enduring afflictions, making a call and election sure. Shalom, Shalom, DTA. Love, love. <laughs>